I'm Lady Aska and this is the 2023 edition of my HANA tool video. Because people get even more confused now how to get it to work apparently, since we got some new updates. So to be honest, I was pretty intimidated already before even starting, until I realized that there are just a few details you guys have to look out for. And for good measure, I included all my HANA tool knowledge that I gathered over the past year and compiled it in this one video. Have fun! We start with the most important part, which is doing export from VRED Studio. To avoid this stupid error here. And all you have to do is to disable the delete transparent meshes option upon export. That's the reason I mention it in all of my VRED videos, by the way. Not because I want to bore anyone, but to trick everyone basically to do the right thing from the get-go already. Also, as tempting as it may be, don't export as a VRM1, as the current version of HANA tool is not ready for that yet. Now, the second most crucial part of all of this is that you have to use a specific combination of Unity and the Uni VRM plugin to get HANA tool to work correctly. As of the recording of this video, I'm using the HANA tool version 4.0.6 and the recommended setup for this is the Unity version 2020.3.13 f1 and the uni vrm version 0.98.0 if you are not using this setup and just downloaded the latest version of these two there is a huge chance that it won't work so don't skip over that and get the right version the links are as always down in the description we create a new project here with our correct unity version and install our uni vrm plugin over assets import package custom package and select the correct UniVRM version 0.98.0. And after this is installed, we also install HANA tool in the same way and choose here the VRM version. All that is missing for our setup now is our .VRM avatar, which we can drag and drop directly into a folder we created, or if you're lazy, you can just drop it into the bottom assets as well. We move our avatar into the left hierarchy and go to the HANA tool menu. Now, to be clear, if your menu doesn't look like this one here, then that means that you just skipped to this part and didn't hear me saying that you need the specific Unity and UniVRM version for this to work, which I will display again here on screen. As weird as it may sound, but this plugin was just not optimized for each update of Unity and UniVRM, and that would be impossible as well, as fast as these updates are coming. The devs are doing such an amazing job already trying to keep up with all the VROID updates we get. So back to our HANA tool. We select the reader option here at the top and then in the pop-up window, we have to change the skinned mesh renderer to face. Your avatar has to be in the left hierarchy for that to work as well. And if you also didn't skip the beginning of this video where I mention how to export your avatar correctly, then you should get this message here. Now the second step is the clip builder, which we will select next from the HANA tool menu. In the top part, we select our avatar, and as a little hint, the other option is for models that are in the .vrm format, but are not VROID models. So let's say you made a model in Blender and turned it into a .vrm, then you can skip over the reader step we did before and just apply the blend shapes here over the clip builder and this other option. For all VROID users, nothing changes here and we should just be able to confirm with clip build. And now your avatar got all the 52 blend shapes attached, which you can find here under blend shapes. We could just export our avatar at this point, but I can tell you from experience that a lot of times these blend shapes aren't ideal for each avatar. And you should go through each one and adjust them a little bit so your mouth isn't giant when you open it and your smile isn't a distorted grin. Also, if you want to be really fancy, you can do something else now, and that are custom blend shapes. Because while adding these, you got also a lot more expression sliders under the blend shape tab here. One of my favorite is the WTF expression that I can now create using these sliders. The expression won't be applied automatically to my face tracking, but it's a triggerable expression now, if you like to use these in VC face later. And with all of that set up, we can export our avatar over the VRM0 menu. Don't forget to set a version and enjoy your new expressive face. I hope this helped. Subscribe and like this video for more tutorials. I see you guys on the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.